Hello, welcome back to our Ostrov Let's Play. Uh, unfortunately, we have a little bit of bad news. It turns out the save that we've been playing on, there's something wrong with it. With one of the new updates that came out caused an issue that just makes the game crash repeatedly over and over after about 30 seconds. So unfortunately, we're going to have to start over. But that's not completely bad because I did say that I had accomplished pretty much everything I wanted to. And this gives us a chance to go in right from the start, knowing some of the stuff I didn't know ahead of time and maybe even pick a new map. Now I've always pretty much played on this map, this level 04 right here, but uh, let's go. Oh, this one's got a lot of water, but we don't want that. Let's try. I don't know if I've done anything with this island map. I kind of like this with this big river. Let's do that. Okay, so first thing, as always, is to... Well, I'm going to pause the game just first off. Let's take a look around this map, because I've not... I don't think I've ever really played this. Let's get ourselves flat right here. So this map's got quite a bit of uh, river action going on. We have this big river coming in from this side of the map down here. And then it splits in two right here. So logic would suggest that probably right around here, or if there weren't trees here, right here would be the best spot to do that. But I think we're going to want to start right around here. Let's check our topography here. Not looking too bad. Not too shabby. Let's go ahead and think we're going to want to if we swing it around this way. Yeah, let's put our camp center just right next to the woods kind of here. About as close as we can get it. Of course, first thing we want to do, build a forestry. We'll flip-flop him around just like this. All right, there. And then uh, we'll go ahead and hit play so I'm not just being dumb. So we have 27 people, nine men, nine women. I think this is something that is pretty similar uh, playthrough to playthrough. So first thing, of course, we have our forestry, but I'm going to go ahead and build the smithy now as well. It's because I know I'm going to forget, and if I do, that will be bad. Go ahead and lay out a bunch of houses here. We can do we could do some houses down here, or we could leave that for a. Uh, might put the church down there. Now that I know that's a thing that we actually will need to do. Let's try. Let's try maybe right here. This is a reminder if you are new to this channel. I have a, an entire Let's Play up to, I think, episode 14. Uh, I think it ended up being about 15 or 16 years into the, uh, the last playthrough that is still available on my channel. And I also just launched a series the other day, probably two days ago by the time this gets posted, where I go in and explain some of the different buildings and what they're good for in this game. Uh, I have a video that I posted all about the house. That was the first thing that went up. So we have our nine houses that we're going to need. And we have our forestry and we have our smithy all queued up. So let's go ahead and run this. And while they're uh, taking care of all that, make sure we have, uh, we can just have all the men working that we can as builders, just for right now. We don't need super worry about food just quite yet. Although... I bet if we started a farm, although I don't know if I can hire managers without having the town center. No, we, we, can, we can go ahead and have a farm. That'll be fine. Get a little bit of a head start on this. So let's, uh, let's put the farm right in the middle of town might not be a bad thing. I've never put a farm right there. But, uh... Should have. Check our supplies. So we only have 1,452 nails. The farm requires 164. That requires that. Okay, so we're, we're going to be okay. So we can put the farm right after the forestry because that's almost done. Because I already know just from playing this game about a lot that the houses don't take that long to build as long as you have enough men working on doing uh, construction. And if we have the farm built and fields defined probably by 
Oh, I haven't built a clay pit yet. Oh, there we go. I'll go ahead and do... Is there anywhere I can put this where it's not going to be in the way? Because you know you can't move clay pits. I haven't done the I haven't done the video on the clay pit just yet, but <laughs> I can put it right here in the middle of the forest. There we go. That's fine. So now we have our forestry. Of course, we can't hire our women, so I'm going to hire two guys to work in the forestry. We're going to have to get rid of one of these builders, I believe. No, we have, uh, we have nine men, so we can actually have two. I don't know why we don't have one. Why? Oh, because one of them is the mayor. There we go. So that'll get our second guy in the forestry. They can get on working there. Just go ahead and get our bark going as well. Now, if this farm is complete before the end of March, I think we stand a decent chance of actually planting crops. Because I know these houses will be plenty fine. I just hope they can finish this. All right, our farm is complete. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure this is all set up. We're going to only hire women. So we can have a manager and a worker. We're going to add some fields. So what we're gonna do is we're not, we're not gonna go for huge fields necessarily. We're just gonna go for fields that we can do quickly. Let's leave some room in between so people can get out there uh, in the middle of the field here. So that's good, just like that. I guess I could have rotated these. Eh, no matter. So put this one here, right here, like that. One more field, just like that. We'll have a nice farm in kind of the middle of town. There we go. Now let's set one to be wheat, and I think we can do wheat and hemp. Of course, I can't do, um, there we go, we have our manager now. I can't do rotation until I have that done. Let's do wheat and hemp. And this one we can also do, let's do potato and buckwheat. This one will do buckwheat and potato. This one we can do sunflower and hemp. Yeah, we'll do sunflower, hemp, and then we'll just do wheat, wheat, and fallow. Right there, right there, right there. This one can be the last one. So we have, yep. We'll go ahead and have all of the women work in the farm because you know they can't do anything else for some reason. So now our women are going to work. And looks like we made the cutoff, so that's good. We'll have some extra food when the, uh, the winter comes along. Our guys in the forestry are doing their thing. And then the smithy will take uh, one of the builders away, so we'll go down to five. Yeah, we'll go down to five builders and have one guy working in the smithy because you have to have nails or else you are just screwed. So while we're letting uh, all this go on, I think I... Uh, going to make this let's play more of a just kind of overview of what's going on rather than just going into detail especially since I'm starting those explanatory videos and a lot of you have probably already watched the in-depth tutorial so I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the stuff that uh that we're doing here but there's probably going to be a little bit more time lapses and maybe focusing on some detail try to improve the production value a little bit so you guys have something interesting to watch all right so now I can hire a worker, make sure this is all checked, good to go. We'll start making some horseshoes. All right, so looking good. That's sewed, sewed, sewed. All right, so now, because it's not harvest time, we can have just one woman working there and we can go ahead and start building a market, which we can do right next to this farm in front of these houses. So that'll be fine right there. So we'll do one right here, one right here. Come on. One right here, one right here. And we'll just go right down the line. Beef, buckwheat, chicken eggs, chicken meat. 
Okay, clothing. Won't worry about dried fish. Firewood. Fish. Flour. Honey. Milk. Pork. Potato. Salo. Salt. Shoes. And sunflower oil. Oh, we have to build a thatchery. I completely forgot about that one. If I can find it. Again, uh... I wish these were alphabetized. So I'm not a... Not always the smartest person. If you've uh, watched some of the rest of my Let's Plays, you'll know that I frequently forget to supply for animals, and they end up dying a whole lot. So let's uh, let's put our thatchery here. We're going to need sooner rather than later. Yeah, they're going to run out pretty soon. They might not even be able to fix... No, actually, they have just enough thatch to finish this house. So that's fine. Crops are growing. Go ahead and come in here and check all of our supply stuff. Mm -mm -mm. There we go. Let's make sure this is good to go. All right, so now we're going to have to... Yep, they're going to build that. Uh, why have we not hired a worker for the smithy yet? Let's go ahead and... Oh, it's because I didn't dismiss him from the... There we go. Looking good. Quite excellent. So this is going to be our mayor's house right here, right in the corner. All right, thatchery is done. We'll uncheck hire men. Let's hire one woman to go make some thatch. Right now it's uh it's all pretty organized and tight right here, so we're not going to have to worry too much about people running around taking rest. But knowing what someone told me in one of the comments of the last Let's Play, we're just going to start building benches everywhere. Because one, it... Uh, Fits a little bit more of the aesthetic, the way that we're wanting it to look, I think. And it also allows people not to have to go all the way across the map. Apologies if the uh, cursor goes off screen. I have two monitors in my computer right now, and the uh, way this is set up, if the cursor goes slightly north of the uh, the game window, it decenters it, and it will stop scrolling. Anyway, this is looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. We're, we are well on our way to having houses for everyone. And we will have food for sale as soon as we have food. So I don't think in the first year, I don't think you can have extra immigrants beyond the uh, first group that come in. Although that might be worth trying if we get to about maybe September, October, and we have all nine houses built, and we can try and squeeze a tenth, and we can see if somebody will move in. But I think you have to have uh, imported food, and we can't do that until we have all of our houses built. We build a training post and a town center and all that. So that's a little ways off. We've got all this ready to go. I'm not going to hire women to work in the market stalls just yet, but we do need to uncheck hire men. I guess in the late game it doesn't really matter so much, but especially early game when you have such a limited supply of men and women, you have to really discriminate who you're hiring. Not enough charcoal. Oh, so what we need to do, I almost forgot. Well, I did forget. We have to build some charcoal piles. So we'll go right here next to the smithy, and we will put our charcoal pile right here, and then one right next to it. Very good. All right, so we have four houses built now. Still need five more. We are chugging along quite happily. Still could use some more people, but hey, what can you do? So when we get uh, finished with all these houses, I think the next thing we're probably going to want to build is going to be cart parking, because we're going to need to be able to carry a lot of this stuff around. So we can actually go ahead and put this. I can't put it right there. I think right here I'm going to want to put a granary in the future. Yeah, I might as well just go ahead and put that down before I get too busy and forget about it. So we can put that let's try just right there. Uneven terrain. Yep, there we go. Can I fit it down here? I think that's too much. How oh, okay, this is this is kind of uneven terrain, that's fair. That is uh that is agreeable game. So maybe we will put I think I'm gonna have to put it down here. 
So that's not the end of the world. That'll be that'll be okay down there. We can just kind of are these buried in the no, okay, they're fine. But look at these guys go. It's July. It's not even the middle of July yet. And we already have five houses built. The sixth one is about halfway done. We're gonna be in pretty good shape. We'll be good to go. That reminds me, we're going to have to build a well. I think uh, by the time this video comes out, I won't have released the video on wells yet, but that is one of the next videos that I have planned coming out on the channel is talking all about the water resource buildings. So that should be, this video will most likely go up on Friday. The water resource building video should go up Saturday. So keep an eye out for that. Just talking a little bit about the well and the platform and different strategies for things, what you can, cannot do. Just simple stuff, just like the house video keep it short and sweet so it's a nice resource for people who have just started the game. And if you're an old head like myself, you can still probably get some value out of it. So we are, oh yeah, the yeah, guy in the smithy is doing real well. Looking good. Looking real nice. This house is looking pretty good. The thatchery is chugging away. Farm stuff is looking pretty good, actually. I think the smaller fields might actually help because we're able to harvest them and not just uh, stare at a whole bunch of stuff growing, you know? Anyway, what else can we do while we're waiting? We can't really, I guess we could queue up the town hall, but I always like to put it kind of where the camp center was. Although that might not work with the, uh, can't delete the well yet. We already have benches, so I can get rid of that. Get rid of that bench as well. Sorry, you have to go sit somewhere else. I, I do apologize. Campfire. So you can't build the campfire. That is a uh, that is one thing that is not possible to build in the game. So if you if you get rid of this campfire, that's I kind I kind of want to leave it as like an homage to the uh, the uh, origins of the town. So we'll, we'll see if we can leave that. We might build a little uh, park around it or something. That could be something fun to put in. Okay, so this tent is empty. That's our camp center tent, so we can't remove it. Will I be able to fit? Okay, if I remove the well, I can fit the, uh, the town center right here. But I can't remove the well until I build the well. So we're going to move that up in the queue, because it's, it's the middle of August. We only have a house and a half left to build. We're, we're going to be fine. We'll be just peachy. Looking really, really nice. Even orderly. I'm loving this new map. Some variety is nice, having a bunch of water for our eventual fishermen to go fish in. This is going to be nice. It'll be a, a good, refreshing change of pace. And hopefully it'll be a little less derpy now that I know a little bit more about playing the game. Oh, look, we already have our farm is harvesting. It's August and we're harvesting? Wow. Man, we're, we're chugging along. We're really powering through. So now they're going to build the uh, the well over here, and then we can remove the other well, and we'll be good to go. We can put our town center right here as soon as they decide to build that well. There you go. The well is complete. Very nice. So let's go on down here and get rid of that, then move that up. They can delete that, and then we can put our town hall in. Now they just have to gather all the supplies. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Load it up. Let's go. Let's go. Load it up. I got a town hall to place. You got one more board. Come on. You can come get the board. Come on. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. All right. Town hall going down right there. We can put that head of the grainer. That's fine. Beautiful. We already have stuff. We can. Oh, we don't have enough guys really to do the sunflower oil refinery building type thing. <laughs> refinery. Uh, that's fine. So why do we still have? Okay, that is camp storage. That's the last tent. Yeah, they're uh, they'll be done with this before the end of September. What? What about that? Fantastic. This is just, this is going so much better than the last Let's Play. We've got food before the first fall. We've got a smithy that's producing enough nails. We've got wood. We've got resources. We've got a market set up. We can, uh, I guess, do we have... No, everyone's doing laborer type things. So 
we're, we're, we're doing okay. Doing okay. Now these people are out of water. We'll go get some water. There you go. Excellent. Now I don't have to complain about that because then I understand that's a mechanic. See, I have learned something. Still remains to be seen whether or not I'm going to mercilessly slaughter the animals by starving them. All right, so we have September, like the two-thirds through September, year one. We have all the houses built. We've got a farm. Our first harvest is almost done. We have a smithy, a forestry, a thatchery. We have a market set up. Why is this not harvested, all of this yet? I wonder why. That's really weird. That doesn't make any sense. Well, hopefully we'll get it eventually, right? Huh. Well, regardless, we've got a pretty nice uh, collection of stuff ready to go for the winter. How many women do we have? We have nine women, so we can actually just go ahead and enable hiring. And when they finish collecting the harvest, they will uh, come to work in the marketplace. And people will be able to buy and sell goods. I wonder if they're ever going to get... They might not. What, is that a glitch or is that just a... Uh... Hmm. Well, Town Hall is progressing. Looking pretty good. This I don't think will go away until we either empty it manually or until everything is emptied automatically. But we're about to have our Town Hall looking pretty good right here. Just about ready. All right, and that's done. So let's go ahead and come on in here. Why does our mayor not have a dude in it? I know we have a mayor. All right, so someone suggested a interesting economic system where you basically don't have any rent, you pay your workers almost nothing, and you jack the price of the goods way up. I don't know how uh, how viable that is necessarily, but I think what we are going to do, lower the wage, raise the rent to, let's try 0.75, raise the market price, try 130. We'll see how that goes. All right, so now we just have the granary and the platform queued up to be built. Uh, the harvest is pretty much done. Oh, this grew hemp first, not sunflowers? Oh, no, 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 it's already just rotated. That's fine. We've got uh, supplying resources here. All right, well, while they're doing that, let's come on over here. Let's, let's try to beautify this area in front of the town hall a little bit. I know that's not really, we didn't get a whole lot into beautification. I like these big, tall cottonwood trees, but I think for something like this, ash tree is pretty small. Birch tree could be good. Pine trees are pine trees are boring. That's what they cut down in the forest. Let's put some nice, beautiful birch trees right in front of our town hall. If I can get to scroll, I guess I could just left click. All right, so we'll put one here, maybe right here. Yeah, and then we'll put another one right here. We can actually come along with our fence. I like this fence number four is kind of kind of nice. We'll put this right at the edge. Is that uh is that gonna look strange? I don't think. No, sometimes placing stuff in this game can be kind of strange. Let's try no, no, come on, get out of the way. There you go. Yeah, see how it goes kind of up a little bit. We'll stop that. We'll go we'll go right here. We can do, let's go right to where it switches to four, so I have a reference point for something else. Ah, see, it says it's occupied because I tried to build too close to the building. Okay, well, I'll occupy this. Here we go. So right where that goes to four, we'll do that. We'll leave a little space so we can have a little archway. Actually, we could just put the small arch right here. Rotate. Rotate that guy. Beautiful. Perfect. Very good. And we'll go right here. We'll do right until it goes into four, just like this. Now let's see if I did good at lining this up. I did very nice. Very good. 
We're going to do the exact same thing over there. Except I'll move this so it's in the middle, so the game doesn't skew it quite as bad as it normally does. Okay. I'm going to rely on our shadows here to determine where it goes to four. Just right about there. Very good. No, no, no. Come on. Come on. There you go. We'll put one more arch right there. This should already be lined up. Now, pardon me while I attempt to do spatial recognition. I wear glasses in real life and I don't have very good vision, so that's fine. All right. Yeah, shadows are just kind of messing with me a little bit here. All right. Are we going to run into the camp store? We are. So we have to wait for the camp storage to empty. I don't have anywhere to empty it to, but we're still going to... Okay, I guess it's going to put all the iron in the smithy. We'll find out. So we can actually build the rest of this. We can build the other side. We'll just do that to... Nope, nope, that's still in the way. All right, well, I guess we won't do that then. But we can come over here, and we can put in some benches over by our campfire. Let's rotate this around. Yeah, don't be walking over here. There's going to be a fence here you won't be able to soon. So we'll put a bench there. We will put a bench here. We'll put another bench behind it right here, just like this. Although I want to make sure that's not going to be directly in the way. That's fine right there. We will do one more like that. Oh, the carts are wearing out. We need a carpentry. Very well. Let's go ahead and build one. I never find it the first try. There it is. So I would love to put that right here, but our cart parking is in the way. We can't get rid of that without getting rid of the carts. So what we're going to do, we'll come right over here on this other side. Try that right there. And then when we have the carpentry built, we can put another cart parking somewhere. Let's do cart parking right outside of the town hall right here. Looking good. Very nice. Do we have our women working here? We do, and they're not selling anything quite yet, but they are working. I don't think we have, uh, we might not have any laborers actually. So they are, they are indeed emptying this. I think. Yep, and they're putting it into the smithy, which is where exactly where it needs to be anyway. That's fine. So yeah, we need to make them hurry up and empty all this stuff. So now we'll have our little campfire area with our benches. This will get all uh, straightened up right here. This will be quite nice. We'll put a couple more trees in. Maybe just one tree. So we have one, two, three, and then the campfire where the fourth tree would be. That's not too bad. Maybe put a, another tree right here in the middle. Yeah, so as soon as the... <laughs> oh, they took the... <laughs> they're taking... <laughs> they're taking logs through the middle of this. I don't know if we want them doing that necessarily. Yeah, who cares? It's just a game, right? All right. You just have a couple more cartloads. That'll be fine. Oh, now they're building instead of emptying. Okay, you have, you have two iron left. Come on. I right, just take it on out. There we go. Let's slow this down again. We can put our last little bit of fence in right until it goes to four. All right, let's check our straightness. It's probably about as good as we're going to get, huh? It's not, it's not entirely straight, so we can, uh, we can do that again. Oh, come on. There you go. Uh, okay, right there. And then we'll put the last one right there. Beautiful. Perfect, perfect, perfect. This is lovely. So we had birch trees, I think. Yeah. So we'll put our fourth tree probably right about here so it lines up with that. In the middle we'll put a big, tall cottonwood tree. It'll be interesting to see how they... uh when they start pathfinding, how they're going to go around this tree. So I think I tried to put it right in the middle here. That's slightly to one side. That's fine. All right, so the carts are indeed 
about to wear out. So let's go ahead and speed this up, have them build the carpentry. And that's all done. All right, so now this is where this is going to get real interesting. because so we're going to have to gradually get rid of some of these builders. Have one guy here at the carpentry, and then they've got to build. We don't care about the platform just yet. So go ahead and build that cart parking first. Oh, they're not. They're no longer taking the carts through the middle. Good. That's exactly what I want. Okay. Well, they're coming from the cart parking, so I guess that doesn't really matter. All right. Build that cart parking. Order four carts. We're gonna have to build another one to get rid of these three carts here. So let's put the second one. I guess we could. Uh, we could have another one right by the. Uh, I don't know why I went that way. Another one right by this guy. Kind of block this off a little bit. Very nice, right here. If you couldn't tell, I'm kind of a sucker for street grid oriented design. This town's layout is NumTot approved. So they're going to build that platform. Yeah, those build super quick anyway. Thatchery is looking good. Oh, she's got plenty of thatch. So we actually don't need her to be in there. And she can go do something else, like be a laborer. So that car parking is ready. So we're going to relocate right here. See, I'll move so you can see the blue line doing that. There you go. Relocate all three of those. And then we can get rid of this. And we can put something else here. Let's get rid of that. That's gone. What else do we need right here? See, early game. I think we have most stuff built that we would need early game except for uh no we've built the granary we can't do wagon sheds and stables until we have horses hmm oh trading post oh that's way too big way 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 too big so i think what we can do i think i really would want to put it where did they come in from this map i can't remember so one of the one of these maps that has a bunch of water you have to construct bridges before you can trade or else they won't be able to get to you. So what we can do right here, you know what? We can put a bridge, places occupied by what? Surely the thatchery doesn't count. Okay, it's a little wider than I thought. Places occupied, come on. All right, I wanted, I wanted to do something nice and just put that right there. So we're gonna, we're gonna just ignore that. We'll put... Hmm. Topo top, the topographically, I think that's the word I'm looking for. That doesn't quite fit. So I think just to uh, have a little hint of realism, we're going to start at what would theoretically be the river's narrow. Oh, that's kind of it's kind of trippy. Start at what would be the river's narrowest point. We'll go right there. Then let's do. So we have we're crossing this river is fine. They'll give us this chunk and that chunk. We just need this chunk so i guess we could put another one put another one here see i wanted to put one there and it wouldn't let's try inaccessible okay i guess i have to start from that side too low too low too low does it, does it have a minimum height to uh not conflict with boats i guess it does oh well let's do there's no law saying this has to be straight, but uh, you know me, I like my grids. So we'll put that there. All right, so now I don't feel bad about building a trading post. I just don't know where they're coming from, so I guess that would be kind of helpful, uh, helpful knowledge to have. I should have done some research here. So oh, there's our winter. All of our families are in houses. We're looking good. We could could do our trading post right here, even though that's 20 trees. Well, our guys can uh, get right on that in the uh, the forestry right there. Yeah, we're looking looking fantastic, looking very nice. The granary is all set up, so let's go ahead and do buckwheat. You know what? I'm going to be smart, and I'm going to section this off. In terms of different things, we'll so we'll do beef and milk together. We will do chicken meat and chicken eggs together. We will do fish. We will do flour. 
I will do pork. Salo. Uh, this will probably just be stuff that we ourselves are producing because everything else can be in the trading post. Uh, let's see. So honey is out. Uh, we're going to want buckwheat and then I think potato would be the ideal thing. We'll We'll do that, enable that. Then we'll open a vacancy for a woman. Oh, she lives right there. Perfect. Beautiful. So that's going to start filling up as soon as I set limits on this. So let's do, let's just put 10,000 just so this fills up. Yes, I'm aware we don't have any animals yet. That'll be fine. Flour, pork, salo. I'm just going to pretend this is actually called salo, whatever. Nobody actually knows what that's pronounced like, except they probably do. So we have a spot here. We're going to build another cart. Have our guy at the carpentry something to do. Thatch, we still have plenty of thatch. We won't really need it for anything except uh, houses and similar buildings. So we we need our guys to get these trees out of the way. So I think that's just our dudes in the uh, smithy doing that. Or, excuse me, in the forestry. I'm sorry, it's it's a little late around here. So let's go ahead and uh, let's call that a wrap for this first episode. And I will let the game run. We'll come back in when the snow is thawing in February and March of 1722. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoy this new Let's Play series. It'll be a lot more uh, efficient and hopefully a lot more entertaining than the last one. But anyway, thank you for watching. Please consider checking out some of my other content. And if you like this video, subscribe, because I've got a lot more coming soon. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.